Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, as always, if you get any benefit out of this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and especially hit the like on the video. That really helps with Google's algorithm. And then also hit the little bell so you'll be notified when we do future videos. We always really appreciate it when people do that because it really helps us spread the word. So that's my little plug. Um, this is probably going to be my final review um, <clears throat> just kind of a follow-up a year later on the hatching time uh, cages. You guys know that I've really liked them. I've really enjoyed using them. Um, in my past videos, I've extolled their, their virtues. And um, uh, so I really recommend uh, that you go back and watch. I think I did the original review when I just got them. And then I did a five months later, a seven months later, and now this is a year later. It's actually a little over a year later. Apologize for our uh, piles and piles of boxes here. We just moved into a, a new home. It's an older home, but it's a new home to us. And uh, we've been anticipating it for quite a long time. But that's why we're still up to our eyebrows and boxes. So, Okay, so here's, here's what I have left. I just recently sold... The rest of all of the um, uh, adult quail cages that I had, and I also sold. So right here, I'll just kind of point to things. This is these here are adult chicken cages. This is a chicken grow out pen. These here are all brooder boxes, quail brooder boxes slash. Uh, grow out pens. The only real difference is the heater in the door. So I just bought extra doors and uh, bought all brooder boxes. And um, when they, when I, as, as they start feathering out, I gradually wean them off of the heat by turning the heat down and changing the doors. You can see down here, they have clear doors that are solid, hold the heat in. And these ones let the, let a lot of ventilation in. So as they, as they start being able to handle uh, less heat, then I just gradually switch out the doors, and then they become the uh, grow out pins. So I really like those. I'm not getting rid of those. <clears throat> and then down here, let's see if I can get in a better position for you to see that. Apologize, I don't have my gimbal either, so this is probably a little bouncy. But here, these two up here are adult uh, pigeon or uh, bantam chicken cages with egg rollouts. That's what I like to use for the jumbo quail. I explained why in a future video, so see that. Or here, I'll, I'll post it up uh, here. And then down here are two more of those chicken grow out cages. So what am I gonna keep and, and what am I gonna get rid of? Uh, the... Uh, the two uh, chicken cages, I really don't need because I'm going to be building a um, chicken mansion out in the backyard. And, uh, and I'm probably going to save two of the, I'll probably get rid of this one. But I'm going to save these two uh, grow out pins and I'm going to save all of these brooder boxes. I might actually get rid of one of these brooder boxes. I'm thinking I'm, I might have, still have one too many of those that I don't need. And then I'm going to sell these uh, two up here, these two uh, uh, bantam pigeon uh, cages, adult cages with the egg rollouts. Again, I'm going to build an outside quail cage um, for them. And so I'm not going to really need that anymore. So um, I wanted to point out, even though I love these cages so much, there were a few slight drawbacks that... Um, that I did find um, and I just want to touch on those really briefly again there's so many positives to these cages these cages all of these by the way are, are excellent if you don't have backyard space where you can uh, you know have outside pens and quail cages and things uh, this gives you the ability to raise your own meat and eggs and I just think they're fantastic. Um, I bought most of these mostly to review, knowing that I was going to move in about a year. 
didn't want to get a lot of permanent structures that I'd have to move uh, or heavy structures I should say um, so uh, now that we've moved I'm going to be building out more uh, bigger cages and I won't need these really anymore only downside to these for chickens they they can be really a good home for chickens and so each layer will hold um roughly about not roughly it'll hold three chickens basically uh depending on the size maybe four <clears throat> um two a lot more comfortably but three still pretty darn comfortable the only drawback that I had to them is um, I've had uh, a lot of, you know, I had a total of eight chicken or seven chickens in, in these cages for a short while. And I had one that figured out how to grab this and throw it out. <laughs> so if you, if you run into a chicken that learns how to grab this and throw it out, then I would put him outside or sell him or something because... Once they once they move that this what this does is it keeps them from throwing their feet everywhere, and once they remove that and throw it out, then they throw their feet everywhere. So most of the chickens didn't do that. I just had one that figured it out. It was kind of a pain about it. The other thing is these things here, um, they're a little bit not sharp like they would cut anybody, but they're just a little bit kind of a corner there, and then kind of here, they're rounded on the inside. But it's just enough to where chickens, I had uh, two chickens, one especially, that would like to stick their neck through those holes and then just rub all the different sides of their neck, kind of scratch themselves, I guess. And they, they de-feathered. I had one that uh, I'll show you a video clip of. I have one that's basically naked from the shoulders up because <laughs> she rubbed all her feathers off. And I had one that rubbed off the top a little bit. Um, and I had one that was, uh, the rest of them that were smart, uh, one up here and three down, three down here that didn't do that at all. <clears throat> so it was just that one and uh, I guess two really. So that was one kind of drawback is I guess if you get a chicken that does that, you know, sell them and get a different chicken if you can't put them outside. And then over here, um, probably the only negative, and, and excuse my quail at the moment, when we decided to move, they all decided to molt. So they're looking a little rough right now. This little guy up here is kind of being mean to the others, so I have him separated for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a rooster up there. Anyway, the only other thing is that I learned about these is on on these uh, both the adult quail and these pigeon um, bantam chicken cages, the inside are a little bit sharp. The only time that ever ha I ever saw that that was a problem was when I would when they would get old enough to where they would start fighting. Um, some of them would try to get out these doors, and and they would rub their feathers off and then actually cut themselves on these normal like they are now I, I they never cut themselves on them but I just have seen that happen when they're when they're in a fighting situation so that's one negative that can come so my suggestion to hatching time or I'm not sure how to say that Kamuka makes this is to round these so they don't have that problem um, other than that I, you know, I really haven't had any problem with these cages. I really, really like them. Okay, well, uh, as I was filming this video, I'd mentioned that I was going to sell some of these. <laughs> I, I know sooner into the video, and um, I just put an ad in uh, to, for those to sell them on Facebook garage sale and Craigslist, and somebody came and got them. As a matter of fact, they wanted the rest of my quail, too, so they, they bought my quail because they wanted the the uh, partridge uh, rollout cages that I had the quail in, and I didn't have a place yet to put the quail, and so they just bought the quail too. I'm ordering a bunch of eggs, and I'll be hatching some more. So, anyway, I just wanted to say that's one thing that I really like about hatching time cages is um, as you're moving things around and figuring out uh, what you what you need and what you don't need. If you bought 
too much of something or uh, not enough of something else, you can sell what you need to get rid of for almost what you paid for it. I sold uh, these for almost what I, I paid for them. So that's, that's a good feature is there's enough of a demand for them that you can always sell them. Anyway, talk to you later. Thanks.